Have you ever pondered the types of people you encounter in your daily life? The ones that drain your energy and test your patience? Indeed, our interactions with different individuals can significantly impact our well-being. Some lift us up, while others bring us down. But how do we discern which ones to keep at arm's length? Here's where the wisdom of ancient Stoics comes to our aid, guiding us in identifying the types of people to avoid. Let's delve into the wisdom of the Stoics to identify the kinds of people we should avoid for a peaceful life. First on our list is the eternal complainer, the person who finds fault in everything. This character, ever present in the tapestry of life, is the one who revels in the shadows of discontent, finding a peculiar comfort in the gloom. Their focus is ever on the negative, the glass perpetually half empty. They find a flaw in every joy, a cloud for every silver lining. The eternal complainer's constant grumbling is not merely a harmless annoyance, it's a drain on our energy, a sinkhole that can pull us into a vortex of negativity if we let it. The more we expose ourselves to their pessimistic perspective, the more we risk adopting a similar outlook, seeing our world through their clouded lens. The Stoics, wise as they were, cautioned us against this pitfall. They advised us to steer clear of such individuals, to shield ourselves from the storm of their discontent. For the eternal complainer, they warned, has the potential to cloud our judgment with their negativity. Next, we have the braggart, the individual who is constantly boasting about their achievements. This character is quite ubiquitous, isn't it? We find them parading their accomplishments at every opportunity, their words echoing with self-praise. Their modus operandi? They seek constant validation and attention from others, their self-worth tethered to the applause they receive. But what happens when we're around such individuals? Their incessant boasting induces a sense of inadequacy in us. We're plunged into a vortex of competitiveness, driven to outdo them, to prove our worth. But this is a futile chase, a never-ending spiral, isn't it? This is where the wisdom of the Stoics comes in. They advise us to steer clear of such characters. Why? Because being around braggarts can lead us to question our own worth and accomplishments. They can distort our perception of success and happiness. According to the Stoics, we should avoid such people, for they can lead us to question our own worth and accomplishments. Thirdly, the pessimist, the person who always sees the glass as half empty. This individual has a knack for focusing on the negatives of every situation, perpetually bracing themselves for the worst possible outcome. The pessimist often views the world through a lens of potential failures rather than opportunities for growth or success. Their relentless gloom and doom perspective can be contagious, subtly seeping into our own mindset. This can unintentionally lead us to adopt a similar negative outlook, thus hindering our personal and professional growth. The pessimist's perspective can cloud our judgment, making it difficult to see the silver linings or the potential learning experiences in challenging situations. Furthermore, surrounding ourselves with pessimists can dampen our spirits and drain our energy, making it harder to pursue our goals with enthusiasm and optimism. The Stoics urge us to distance ourselves from such individuals, as their pessimism can hinder our progress and dampen our spirits. Fourth on our list is the gossip monger, the person who thrives on spreading rumors and hearsay. This character indulges in the titillating pastime of disseminating unverified information, often twisted by their own perceptions or motives. They feast on the reactions of others, creating a whirl of chaos and uncertainty in their wake. The gossip monger's actions are like ripples in a pond, spreading, distorting and influencing the environment around them. They breed an atmosphere of mistrust, suspicion and unease. A simple whisper from such a person can cause a domino effect of negativity, impacting relationships and disrupting harmony. With a keen understanding of human nature, Stoics recognize the destructive potential of such individuals. They urged us to steer clear of the gossip monger, to avoid being drawn into their web of rumors and hearsay. Why? Because it's a toxic cycle that breeds negativity and mistrust. The Stoics caution us to avoid such individuals, for their gossip can breed negativity and mistrust. Lastly, we have the manipulator, the person who uses others for their own gain. This character thrives on control, using cunning and deceit as tools to bend people to their will. 
These actions breed unhealthy power dynamics, causing emotional distress to those in their grasp. The manipulator's game is not one of mutual benefit, but rather one-sided conquest. According to the Stoics, we should steer clear of such individuals, for they can bring turmoil and unrest into our lives. In conclusion, the Stoics advise us to be mindful of the people we surround ourselves with. Our journey through life is greatly influenced by the company we keep. The eternal complainer, for instance, can drain our energy and positivity with constant grumbling. The braggart, with their incessant self-promotion, can make us question our own worth. We must also be wary of the pessimist, whose bleak outlook can slowly seep into our own perspectives. The gossip monger, with their love for stirring up drama, can lead us to focus on the negatives, rather than celebrating the positives. Lastly, the manipulator can distort our perception of reality and make us doubt our own judgment. Each of these character types can create an atmosphere that's contrary to personal growth and development. Surrounding ourselves with positivity, authenticity and honesty is a sure way to maintain a healthy mindset. Remember, the company you keep can profoundly impact your mindset and your life. Choose wisely and live well. We would also love to hear your thoughts and experiences with these types of characters. Share them in the comments below. Your experiences might help someone else navigate their own journey. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more thought-provoking content. Remember, the company you keep greatly influences your journey through life. Choose wisely and live well.